Now listen to a story about a man named Key. Not quite normal, plain as you can see. Doesn't have an address, didn't buy a house, didn't have children or get tied down with a spouse. Not his cup of tea. Next thing you know, he's a millionaire. Not by a long shot. Doesn't really care. As long as he can wander, as long as he is free, he might just always live in his RV. Eight wheels. Places to see. No, we're not in Vegas anymore. Welcome to Lazy Z RV Park in Auto North Carolina. The Smoky Mountains are appropriately named, and I love this weather. I love the mist and the fogs in the mornings, and I love walking around the pond. It's just a great way to start the day. I spent several hours fishing this pond. It cost me all of $4, a $3 fishing pole at Walmart, and a can of corn. So I'm almost certain that corn is not a regular part of any fish's diet. But I was told by the experts to use it, and I will admit I got a few bites. So I'm going to blame my exercise and futility on the highway noise. This pond is literally two feet away from a busy highway, and while it didn't seem to disturb the bats and the bugs and the frogs, it's got to be unsettling to a fish. The owners here are just fantastic. Uh, they, they did a great job of keeping the showers clean, even though I was probably the only person in the entire campground using them. There's all of 13 campsites on the property and one cabin. The cabin rents for only $25 a night, but has been closed during COVID season. I was so fortunate to find a Lazy Z campground during my seasonal job. It is by far the cheapest campground in the area as the, the camps are quite pricey here. And despite me turning my camper into a construction zone, they really do keep the riffraff out here. I felt so at home here that I would strongly consider Lazy Z as a uh, seasonal kind of uh, new home base for me. My commute to work was up the hill to Scaly Mountain and the views were just spectacular. What was amazing is that every morning you could be in the fog and then go up the hill and look down on the fog. So right here you're looking at Dillard, Georgia. After a pretty vigorous trip across the country and then going straight to work, it kind of took it out of me. I was, uh, I was pretty exhausted for a while and I didn't stray too far from camp. But the nice thing about the Smoky Mountains is you can pick any side road, I mean virtually any side road, and you will find something fun to do. Both Auto North Carolina and Dillard, Georgia are known for their produce stands, flea markets, and antique shops. Some of my favorite finds were some delicious muscadine grapes and just up the road the most delicious tomato I've ever had. Most of the items I wanted here were a little too big or a little too pricey, so I settled for a license plate instead. Just 10 more to go, my collection's complete. I eventually started expanding my travels to places like Highlands, North Carolina, Bryson City, and Franklin, North Carolina. Now here's a holiday I think everybody can get behind. They actually celebrate autumn in these hills, as if it were an actual holiday. And I think no matter what religion you are, everybody can celebrate autumn. As I took more and more day trips, I couldn't help but notice I kept ending up in Cherokee, North Carolina. This wasn't a bad thing. Harris Casino in Cherokee, North Carolina is not nearly as packed as the casinos that are open on the Las Vegas Strip. I actually feel very safe walking through this casino and I especially appreciate the guidelines they have in place in the poker room. Uh, they're limited to five players per table and every time a player gets up and comes back to the table, the, the dealer actually sprays sanitizer on their hands. I also didn't mind that in five different sessions here, I averaged over $100 per hour and made nearly two grand. This actually created a little bit of a dilemma for me. Uh, the COVID five-handed play is just amazing right now. They're super aggressive uh, playing five-handed, and I know there's a lot of money to be made here. 
And I could easily see myself playing here all of December and watching football uh, next door in the sports book. And I started to formulate a plan to actually stay here for a month in December. In the end, I decided I didn't want to change my travel plans, uh, which include about three weeks of poker in January and February in both Florida and Mississippi. And I suspect there's a pretty good chance that five-handed poker will still be around in late March. So you know what, the unemployed poker dealer, part-time poker player, sometime seasonal worker gig isn't working out too badly right now. I'm going to get through COVID just fine. But during this four and a half hour train ride, I've had some time to do some simple math and I wonder if I'm in the wrong business. 26 passenger cars, 500 passengers during COVID with social distancing two times per day at about $100 a pop. It's about a hundred grand a day. Heck, I'm not even greedy. Just give me an engine, one passenger car, and a private train track through the Grand Canyon. I'll be happy. I'm an optimist, but just in case my train business or plans A, B, and C don't work, would you do me a favor and hit the like button and the subscribe button right here and help my channel grow? Many years ago, I was in love with a girl named Michelle, and this was actually part of our love story, the Nantahala River. Uh, we actually had a harrowing rafting incident here where we got separated, and I wrote her a love poem about the incident. Ironically, that poem was about how we would always persevere as a couple. I've since retired from poetry. I woke up to Tropical Storm Zeta about 4 o'clock in the morning. The wind was just howling, something furious. Uh, but incredibly enough, my camper didn't shake at all. Most of the damage in the area was due to fallen trees and limbs. And I think the damage was minimal in this common flood zone of the Little Tennessee River through Franklin and Otto. A few days after Zeta, there was still plenty of evidence of the flood, but it was a glorious day for horseback riding. Please say hello to Marco, a fine looking horse. But isn't this horse just gorgeous? This is my horse. His name's Caspian. And last but not least, this is my new friend and horse trainer, Trina. Trina has a brother that kicks in the NFL, and she's never missed watching a game. Before our first time watching football together, I kind of envisioned her being glued to the screen whenever her brother kicked field goals. This turned out not to be the case. Yeah, she's a little superstitious, but she can always watch the replays of her brother's field goals. As it turns out, she's much more relaxed at horse training. Uh, in fact, I learned how to ride a horse in five minutes. Maybe it's time to consider becoming a horse jockey. They make pretty good money. But then the other horse jockeys would probably make fun of me because I'm so tall. Who needs that aggravation? Now, who knew that the cure for the common alcoholic is right here in this little stable in Otto, North Carolina? Drink this stuff and only this for a couple weeks, and I guarantee you'll never want to take another sip of alcohol again.